Police are still trying to piece together an officer-involved shooting in Mesa. It all started with a suspected domestic violence situation, and the suspect fled police before being shot and killed. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett joins us now with the details. Steph? Yeah, John and Christina, we are off of Vine and Johnson here in Mesa and still a very heavy police presence here behind me. I'll let you take a look at the current scene right now. This all started around 2.30 this afternoon. Initially, Tempe police called Mesa police to help with the search by air. The suspect fled in a truck, eventually ending up in this Mesa neighborhood. Norma and her son Giovanni are still shaken up after watching an officer-involved shooting unfold in front of their own eyes. Here's what she's saying is summarizing is that they were walking towards the family's friend's house, walking the same way where the guy pulled up, and the guy pulled up screeching his tires in a gray Chevy. Mesa police say this all stemmed from a possible domestic violence situation in Tempe. The suspect fled and wound up in this Mesa neighborhood. They say the suspect got out of his truck and began running on foot. That's when several cop cars came racing down the street. And he was holding his pants, also running with one of his hands with the portfolio and his other hands holding onto his pants or shorts. And that he was running and his pants were lowering down. And that's probably what maybe caused them to think he was carrying a gun or something. Maybe he was, maybe he's not. We're not too sure at this point, but yeah. Neighbors tell us they heard more than a dozen gunshot rounds spraying the neighborhood, leaving homes pierced with holes. Mesa police did not say if the suspect had a gun. There are no outstanding suspects, and the suspect was pronounced deceased on scene. No officers were injured. Yeah, again, several streets are blocked off still tonight. It's unsure right now when police will leave the area and how long they will be out here. But they're asking everyone to avoid this area until further notice. They're also asking anyone with information to get in touch. Reporting live in Mesa tonight, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.